Hey man, welcome back to the black market. The harder you ring it, the more money is gonna come. And you gotta do it over the shoulder for good luck. Look, man. I wore these shoes on here one time, right? A couple times. And people keep asking me, where did you get those? Where are the, what are those? Where did you get them? I'm like, look, relax. I'm about to put y'all up on the whole plug. Not only do we have the owner, ambassador, creator of these dope ass shoes, we got the queen of abs in here today. We got Track Baby in here today. Miss Santia Beck is in the black market with us today. First of all, congratulations on everything. Thank you. A lot of people, you may or may not know, this lady is a professional football player. (laughs) I am. Yeah, and she run fast as hell. And she posts videos every day of her running fast as hell and working out and beating grown men, racing, whatever. She is one of them. <laughs> the whole abs, all eight of them. You know the two little ones at the top? Oh my God. <laughs> you know them, them two little ones is hard as hell to get. I don't got no eight pack. Okay. <laughs> but I do well, got a six pack. Welcome to the trap. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you Man, for tell me. us, put us up. What, what we doing right here? You got clothing line, yeah. shoe line. So, I mean, we have a lot going on right now. I see. So, I mean, we, we had launched these two first. So this was like the, you know, the first two creations that we had. These are actually our best sellers. They were our best sellers, um, especially this one. And then we released our spring line, which is a little bit more colorful and yeah. things like that. I bet niggas in Atlanta buying the shit oh out of these. Gosh. You can't keep these on the shelf. <laughs> 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 oh my God, but nah, but honestly, it's it's been a blessing um, to, you know, we launched during a pandemic, so yeah. we've only been, you know, in business a little over a year now, but uh, we have had a lot of support from, like, athletes, entertainers, like, all types of people that comedians. have really been comedians, yep. especially you, we appreciate you. No problem. Um, but nah, we've been doing really, really well, and it's a unisex shoe. Um, guys always feel like it's for only for women, but it's unisex. You go all the way up to an 18, as little as a three now. Okay. So, yeah, and we're going to be releasing our apparel very soon, which is also going to be for men and women and kids. So we have like a lot of big things in, in the works, and you know we're just honestly thankful for the support from all over, you know, all over the world. Uh, yeah. How did all this come about? What was the inspiration? Like, how so, did you create this shoe line? So, yeah, so I created the shoe um, honestly. With like for women athletes, it's very very hard to get like really good sponsorships and endorsement deals. You know, we always get kind of jit when it comes to that. So I was like, why not do something that's out of the box, that's different, um, break through a glass ceiling? Because there's not a lot of women, especially black women, in the shoe industry. And if it is, you know, we're under somebody. So I was like, why not just have the whole thing, mm. and then you know, be able to pay athletes one day, you know, the same amount or better and what they're worth, like the bigger companies. Um, so for me, it's about just women empowerment. Um, you know, black excellence, and then showing other little girls around the world that, you know, anything's possible because a lot of people said, you gotta go against the, I don't wanna say names, you gotta go against this person, this company, this company, this company, and I was like, okay, and, you know, I wanna be the first to do it, and I wanna show people that, you know, literally anything is possible. Yeah. Because this was just a vision, you know, I guess about three years ago, and then to see it come into fruition is is a, a blessing from God. So, you know, it's all about the next generation and just showing people that, again, I mean, the sky's the limit, so. Hell yeah. How did you, how did you get interested in playing football? <laughs> um, football honestly came through me being a tomboy. Like, I have a twin brother, I have three brothers. They all play football, all are running backs. Um, and one day after I was done with, with track and field in college, I was like, okay, I want, I want to do something else. I want to fill this void of like no longer being a track runner. I was driving, saw it like football tryout, went out there had one practice and he was like, how long have you been playing football? And I was like, never. He was like, oh, you something, you something special. And so I played my first season, went viral on social media, uh, got contacted by the USA rugby coach. 
Um, unfortunately, that, that didn't work out because he got fired when I went down there. Damn. <laughs> but then it came back around, and I actually was on an Olympic journey for rugby all the 2019. Uh, ended up getting injured, and then, you know, I ended up getting into professional fo- or, or tackle football, which is what I do now. Yeah. So uh, it all it all came really just from me being an athlete, me having brothers, um, and me getting out there and, and just feeling like I can do what they do. Who are some of the female athletes that you would want to get your product in their hands right now? Like some of your current favorites? Simone, of course. Hell yeah. Um, she could fit that three. I know she probably could. Um, Serena. She need um, about a thirteen. She got big feet. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> I, I love Serena Jamaica Williams. Oh my God. I call her Jamaica. <laughs> Ever since I found out her middle name was Jamaica, I've been looking at her different. That's a different kind of black. Oh my God, I'm not gonna... <laughs> when you ever been around Jamaica, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Lolo Jones. Um, I know Lolo. Oh really? Yeah, I'm gonna plug it. Look, I appreciate you. I'm gonna plug She's it one up. of my favorite runners. Um, I mean, honestly, all the track and field athletes, the, the you know, Shikari. She dope. Yeah, she is dope. She's she very dope. dope. As hell. Um, but yeah, I mean, any honestly, any woman that wants to support, you know, I'm I'm just grateful for you know just support. To be honest. You got these in men's size? I do. Cause That's my boy J O N, he love a pink do rag. <laughs> He love a pink do rag. I'm not. That's my dog. Ask him, bro. Don't you wear pink do rags all the time? This nigga left a pink do rag over my house. Well, look, we got the shoe to match. Man, I man, I'm talking about. She went the fuck off. Don't no nigga wear no fucking pink do rag. I was like, yes, the fuck. Yes, he does. Win, win, win. Oh my god. I was like, man, and I fucked around and called this nigga. He did not answer the phone. I was like, bruh. When I saw that nigga back, I saw that nigga again, I had brought it up. I was like, you're a fucking do that. I'm dead. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what's up, man. But yeah. Hey, I saw this video of you training the other day. You were leaning on like a poster. You was just catching the ball. Where the fuck did you come up with that at? I mean, it wasn't me, it was my my coach. Oh. But, I mean, apparently I guess all the greats did that drill. I didn't even know, I was just like, all right, you told me to get behind the pole and catch a football, all right. But apparently, it, I guess that's a popular drill, but yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I train like an NFL player, to be quite honest. So, I train like really, really hard. That's dope. So, yeah. And where can they find your products and all um, of these things? So, you can find my, uh, my shoes at tronosofficial.com. Um, we also have an Instagram, which is just Trinos Official. And then um, if you want to look at, you know, my shoes on other people, while I'm training, you can go to my Instagram, which is trackbaby001. Um, and we have some new colors coming out soon, some new apparel, some things we can't talk about, but, um, you know, we got some big things in the works. So again, I appreciate all the support. Man, you, you got it. You got it. Thank you. You gotta get to the track team, man. Like, I want to see the whole track team with some of them shit, so. You like just getting off the bus and be serious as hell, have everybody had the same shit on. That'd be hard. But you know, like we, before like the pandemic went crazy, we created these in, in like hopes that the Olympic team would, you know, support these, but you know, stuff happened. But we still got some, you know, track runners in them and whatnot, but you know, all of our colors mean something. Right. So that's another thing. We have a store behind most of the colors. So this is for, of course, breast cancer awareness. This is just for black excellence, and then this is for the Olympics. Them titties, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do the commercial for breast, breast oh next October. <laughs> Say the titties, man. <laughs> for real, for real, man. <laughs> That's what's up. Shout out to the whole family, though, man. You pulled up when you did your rollout, dropped me some off. Mom was there, your brother was there. Mm-hmm. Shit, what else you want them to know? Um, honestly, like I said, I just want y'all to support, uh, spread the word, um, you know, and just, you know, just support. That's, that's the biggest thing, you know, being a black owned brand, yeah. you know, people always want to talk about, you know, not getting enough support. But to be honest, we've been getting a lot and I just want to continue to, you know, grow and expand and just, you know, become the, the next big thing. I don't want to say no names, but the biggest. All right. You're an athlete <laughs> outside of your own shoes. Give me some of your favorite shoes of all time. Jordans. Which ones? The ones. 
Jordan ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that. And to be real, that's the only ones. I don't. I'm not like. It was either Jordans or running shoes. But I was like a Jordan head. I was like a fiend when I was younger. So um, honestly, when I thought about these shoes, I was like, I want to create like a Jordan mixed with a Balenciaga and just mm. make it like unique and like loud. And so that's kind of what we did. That's why we got the sock and everything. Um, it's extremely, like it's really, really, you know, it's super comfortable, yeah, it's course. super light, even though and the, it's, it's just quality. a big ass shoe, yeah. it's, this is super, super light. So, yeah. you know, we wanted to make sure like, that it wasn't just for like the everyday person, but it was for the athletes as well. So, you know, we just made sure it was a combination of, you can wear them like working out, you can wear them going out. So, you know, it's just like an athleisure shoe. So it has- Athleisure. Um, athleisure, yeah. So it's, it's, you know, it serves its purpose. Yeah. And everybody that get them, they're like, man, I got so many compliments. Everybody want to know where they, we get them from. They blah, fly blah, blah. ass shoes though. Yeah, so we just want to be different. That was the main thing, so. Cat, we need to get some 85 South shoes, man. We might, I don't think we're gonna be able to jump off the porch that hard. We might do some flip flops or something. <laughs> Can we get some slides? I just want the slides too. <laughs> you got slides too? Yeah, we got slides. Oh, you taking over everything yeah, on the foot. Twice. I was actually going to wear them, but I was like, nah, I look a little too chill, so. All right, bet. So I could talk to you about getting my own church sock line? <laughs> you got the plug? <laughs> Why you want a church sock? Because there's a lot of older black men who don't wear athletic socks <laughs> every day. It's a market that I want in on. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about that. We'll I'm telling you, y'all sleep. It's more old niggas than young niggas. <laughs> I mean, what colors? Like, how is this, how is it gonna look? It's gonna be bland. This is easy. We don't need the three colors: black, blue, and brown. That's it. That's it. We ain't gotta reinvent the wheel here. We can make that happen. Exactly. How about the church socks that could double over? into the do-rag. <laughs> They're stretchy enough for you. If you had to tie one off. <laughs> oh my God. Just like you had to like, think of like a church sock, kind of like with the integrity of a diabetic sock. <laughs> I'm through pitching no, ideas. Cannot. I'm through pitching ideas, because once I'll you got a room full down. of people who laughing in your face, that's how you know you own the song. They, they, gonna, they call Elon Musk crazy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry well, about look, it. We support you, man, whatever you want to do. Well, I support you, whatever you got going on. Shoes, athletic apparel. I don't really do a whole lot of shit, but these are great for what I be doing, too. I appreciate it. Running up and down the stairs, forgetting shit. Yeah. These, are, these shoes. Dope as hell, so make sure you grab some, make sure you support, make sure you tell somebody. We have a black woman with her own shoe line. Come on, man. Thank you. Come on, man. I appreciate it. And we gonna support the hell out of that track, baby. Santia Deck. Thank you. Appreciate you, There you have it. <laughs> These dope as hell for real. You don't got nothing. Now I'm not buying y'all everything that people bring up here. You, you, you must. Who said that? I mean, I'm in athletic clothes, so it's whatever. You want some smoke? He said I'm good. You go out there serious as hell and be them pull some shit. Still lost, but you pull the real muscle. She runs every day. Nigga, <laughs> you ain't ran since that dog got loose. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs>